The deepest part of the ocean on Earth is well known by the name Mariana Trench. It was formed when two tectonic plates crash into each other, making it a V-shaped valley so deep that you will not find anywhere else on Earth. The deepest point of Mariana's Trench is known as the Challenger Deep, and it is estimated to be about 36,037 feet, roughly about 6.8 miles or 10.9 kilometers. Let us cast a sliver of light into this murky abyss and catch a glimpse of some of the most peculiar creatures on Earth. Even though these species appear strange, they have never seen sunlight. And are also among the most resilient in the animal kingdom. Number one, barrel eye fish. The barrel eye fish evolve odd characteristics to utilize light. The fish was discovered 2,500 feet below the surface. The barrel eye is actually quite small, usually up to six inches long. This fish's head is translucent. Two sensitive barrel-shaped eyes. Allow the fish to see prey silhouettes. The clear head may allow the fish to collect more light, giving it an advantage over its competitors. Even yet, the specimens were less than ideal because they crumbled in pressure changes. Now that researchers have deep diving remote vehicles with, they can examine the barrel eye more carefully. This strange fish's life cycle and reproduction patterns. Still baffle biologists. Number two, benthacodon. The benthacodon is an uncommon jellyfish that likes 2,700 foot depths on the seafloor. These bell-shaped jellyfish are small and circular. Some may be as tiny as a few millimeters, ranging up to nearly five feet long. While we know most jellyfish to be transparent. The benthacodon is in fact an opaque creature. Benthacodon eats small crustaceans and foraminiferans. The benthacodon's crimson bell is opaque, unlike most jellyfish. Scientists believe this hue masks the bioluminescent glow of the jellyfish's prey, protecting the benthacodon. This species is a mystery, like many in the trench. Number three, goblin shark. Goblin shark snouts resemble swords, and they prefer to live at depths around 3,000 feet. They can grow up to 18 feet long, dwarfing everyone in the water with them. Just below the nose are jutting jaws that don't match the shark's face, as if nature turned the ugly wheel and the goblin shark lost. These sharks aren't gray either; they have pink skin, and you'll probably never see one. The older these sharks get, the deeper they dive. Goblin sharks are a poorly understood deep sea species. A pregnant female has never been captured, therefore no one knows how they breed. Like fairy tale goblins, these fish show how different life on Earth can be. Number four, sea devil anglerfish. The female anglerfish is bigger than the male. About eight times their overall size. They prefer to live at 3,200 feet deep. The sea devil anglerfish has several odd and striking features. With its malformed physique, razor-like teeth, and death look, this fish could have swum straight from hell. Males fuse to females in a bizarre evolutionary twist. Fins. Teeth, eyeballs, and internal organs disappear, merging the two into one. What's left of a male's body stores sperm to fertilize the female's eggs later. Sea devils don't dart after food like anglerfish. Instead, a bright bait dangles from its forehead to attract starstruck creatures. The sea devil's enormous teeth may consume larger species. Five. Frilled shark. Frilled sharks have an eel's rounded body and a dinosaur-like flattened head. At 4,900 feet deep, these creatures can grow an average of six feet long. Like many sharks, this species has 80 million-year-old roots. The shark has more than 20 rows 
of trident-shaped teeth that rip flesh. Frilled sharks spend much of their lives at the ocean floor and prefer deep waters. When sharks are snagged and brought to the surface, they nearly usually die instantly, making it difficult to study their behavior and life cycles. Some researchers believe an uncomfortable organ arrangement would prevent such movement. Number six, deep sea hatchet fish. There are numerous odd-looking fish, but few resemble human hand tools. These delicate-looking fish live in nearly 5,000 foot depths. The largest hatchet fish can grow up to six inches long. Deep sea hatchet fish. Resembles a swimming hatchet. Hatchet fish are over 40 species. Many have bright scales, which adds to their metallic, hatchet-like look. Hatchet fish have bioluminescent bodies and can adjust the brightness of their glow. This is a clever concealing strategy. Their weak, self-produced light makes them hard to see from below. Number seven. Deep sea dragonfish. The dragonfish is a deep sea assassin with huge teeth and a horrible face. It is a fish, but it has eel-like skin instead of scales. Dragonfish enjoy lightless, frigid waters, 700 to 6,000 feet below the surface. This species uses bioluminescent body components to emit an eerie glow. Like many deep water organisms, fish uses this luminescence to communicate or disguise. It has a lit barbell on its bottom jaw. Fishes mistake the barbell for an easy meal. The dragonfish quickly gets lunch. Some dragonfish may create a red glow, which is rare in the water. They may utilize the red glow to signal their brethren, but it's more likely to illuminate prey. Before an assault. Eight telescope octopus. Telescope octopus floats and dangles in Earth's lowest ocean currents. This octopus doesn't swim on the sea floor. Instead of swimming horizontally, it suspends itself vertically at depths greater than six thousand five hundred feet, maybe to hide from predators. If you saw a telescopic octopus, you might think the water pressure. Was playing tricks on you. Its transparent body and delicate webbing between its eight tentacles gives it a ghostly appearance. In the cellophane-like flesh are two projecting eyeballs. These eyes allow the octopus to see predators and prey. These eyes spin as in a sci-fi movie, maybe helping the monster see in the dark. Number nine, zombie worm. The zombie worm is also called bone worm, and can eat whale bones. They usually live at depths till nine thousand nine hundred feet. The zombie worm secretes acids to eat whale bones. Symbiotic bacteria turn the bones' proteins and lipids into its nourishment. Its feathery branches wiggle in the water, absorbing oxygen. Female zombie worms are two inches long. Females amass a microscopic male harem on their bodies. Males eventually enter female oviducts. The female releases her fertilized eggs into the water, and the zombie worms clean up whale trash in the ocean's darkest regions. And lastly is the Dumbo octopus. It is an octopus Walt Disney would have created for a movie. The 12-inch Dumbo octopus has Dumbo-like ears. This cartoonish-looking animal has wiggled eyes and a puckered lip. This delicate octopus is the deepest dwelling known to science. It lives at 9,800 to 13,000 feet. Octopuses have a bulbous mantle with eight tentacles. The Dumbo belongs to a group of so-called umbrella octopuses. With webbed tentacles, like a starfish with a balloon head, this species doesn't have a beak-like mouth, like most octopuses. It swallows prey entirely. All right, that brings us to the end of this video. I really hope that you are totally weirded out right now. Anyway, thanks for watching. 
we will see you positively in the next one.